What's up guys, I by Self here, and today Apple released iOS 10.3 Beta 2 to register developers and the file to download was pretty large. It was 739 megabytes on the iPhone 7 Plus. And with that size of a file download, you would think there's a lot of new features, but really there isn't a whole lot to talk about. Uh, as always in these videos, I'm going to share with you guys any new changes. The current build number is 14E5239E. So it's a pretty large build number there for the latest beta. Now, in terms of features for the software, I didn't find anything new as of yet. Uh, but the previous beta, iOS 10.1 Beta 1, I did come across one thing that was different. After using the software for about a week or so, uh, my iCloud was almost full. And I got this new option below the iCloud settings, which now are at the top of the settings application. It gives you the option to upgrade your storage. And if you tap into that and you decide to upgrade the storage, it gives you the option to upgrade within there. So just a new panel that pops up inside of settings if your storage is almost full right below uh, this banner here for your iCloud information. Now in terms of features, as I said, you're not going to find anything new. No dark mode, no new wallpaper, no theater mode. If you're anything like me and keep track of Apple's iOS releases and rumors, where is that theater mode that everybody thought was going to be dark mode, including myself? Well, it did make its debut, but it was on the Apple Watch. You see these two smiley faces here if you tap onto there? theater mode gets enabled, it will silence your Apple Watch and it will prevent your Apple Watch from actually uh, coming up and lighting up the screen when you do this. So when you're in a movie theater, if you're eating popcorn, it won't turn on the display. You'll still receive notifications and everything like that. But it's a pretty cool feature to silence the Apple Watch and then simply turn it off whenever you want. But nothing like that has made it over to the iPhone or iOS for that matter. And no new features, as I mentioned, are in this new beta. I did want to share with you guys some Geekbench score tests. The performance has dropped not a lot, but somewhat. The first beta here coming in single core score 3473 and then 3458, nothing drastic. On the multi-core score, we have 5771 with a 5708. So the performance dropped a little, nothing major. Apple's new file system that's been added to iOS 10.3 has been a little weird on my device. Sometimes I get a black, dark screen. It pauses the animations. Something about the animations are different. I don't know why that is. When I launch certain applications, for example, this one here for the Facebook, See that black screen that stays there for a long time and then it pops into action? It's kind of sluggish. It makes the device weird. It just feels different. I don't know how to explain it. Those of you who are running the beta may understand what I'm talking about. But Apple added a new Apple file system to update their devices to a newer file system. But anyway, those are my experiences. In terms of battery performance, I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter. This was just a very quick video on what's happening on Apple's beta software. It's been iDevice Help, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.